Hey guys, like Sunday 50 here, and today is going to be a door closer update. Now, it's going to be a different update because I got, yet again, a new closer. So before we start, I'll go ahead and show you the same tell, which is right here. Same closer right there, there's the inside, and yeah. And um, I slowed down the latch a little bit on this. Reason why is even though it doesn't latch, it's because of the fire alarm wire, basically. So this door will either do this, right here this or that and as you can see even when I'm pushing on it it still won't latch because of the fire alarm wire so what I did is I slowed down the latch a little bit because it was on its high speed even though it wouldn't latch so I'm like you know what who cares so anyway and no I will not preload the closer because these frames aren't the best so anyway let's go ahead and demonstrate it right there and as you can see no latch let's do it again So yeah, if I somehow could tur turn this off or take it off, not take it off, but somehow like make the door always like this, I would, because it would easily close like a non-latching door, but I can't do that. Because sadly, this closure has wiggle room both in the pinion and right here, which is really strange. I'm not sure why, but it does that. So anyway, but now let's look at the new closer. So the story behind this closer is... Um, I was looking on eBay, and remember how I told you guys that I was going to get that Ryobi, two Ryobi closers that were nine bucks, residential ones, one's hold up and one's not, and everybody's like, get it, get it, and I'm like, okay, fine, so the other day, I'm like, you know, I'll go ahead and buy it, because, you know, it, it would be cool to have, so I looked at it and was literally about to buy it, and I was checking everything, and I went to the description just to see everything and anything changed, and in small, small text, you know what it said? Door closer body only does not include arm, shoe, or um, instructions. So basically, if I bought that, it would just come with two bodies, and that's it. And no wonder <laughs> there's been a bunch of bad reviews on that guy. And it's mostly like, like it's like items not just like well described or anything. I'm like that's kind of strange because he has good deals and stuff. But it the reason why is because he doesn't include everything. Because in the picture is two. Ryobi closers on doors. It's like one that's parallel and then one that's regular arm. Then on the back it shows everything and what comes with it, but it says bodies only. So I'm like, you know what? I don't even want to take a chance. So I was looking in the suggestions and stuff, and I found another closer that's pretty unique and by a company I've never heard before. Um, has the basic look of another company, and shall say in a second. But it was cool, and so I looked at it and Oddly enough, the guy who had it actually lives in my state, and I'm not going to say what state I live in, but he lived about 30 minutes away. I didn't drive there because, you know, it's a school week and I didn't really have the time. So, like, might as well ship it because it was, you know, free shipping, so it didn't matter. So, looking at the box or package itself, it said the closer was originally 30 bucks, but then it was put on discount for 20 so $10 off. So, um, still 20 bucks. It's kind of pricey for a closer. Because um, I got this one. This, I think, was originally 20 But it was like some sort of sale, and it was like on 15 maybe. So I get, that's why I got that tell. Or how I got the tell. So the door closer is pretty unique. It is very, very small. Um, like, extremely small. It's smaller than this thing, and I thought this was small. Um, it has um, a feature that most closers don't have and it's actually I don't even think well not take that back but in the feature is back check no I'm kidding um the feature it actually has is hold open which is awesome and the cool thing I guess about this closer is sadly it is internal hold open so that would basically mean um you would hold, open it a certain like amount for example if it was on this door you'd open it up to about maybe here and it would stay open like, if there, there's where it was, like, it would stay open. So, um, yeah. And then there's other types that, when it's open, you would, like, do something on the arm, and it would stay open. So, but this one does have that feature, but the cool thing is, it's not, I don't think it's 90 degrees. I think it's, like, 95 or something. All I know is when the, so, like, here's the arm when it's closed, and if you open it to about here, it will stay open. Um, I did already, or I haven't tested this on the door, so we'll find out. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and look at the closer. And here it is. 
This is a ultra door closer, and the company I said that also made this or had the same design is a company called Mint Craft, not Minecraft, not Mint's Raft, but Mint Craft. Um, I saw this before on regular arm at a cheese factory and a um, on parallel arm at a restaurant, and it w they were both by Mint Craft. Um, and yes, they were residential, um, but this is by Ultra, as you can tell. So here's everything it came with, um, uh, the, of course the closer, a um, regular arm shoe, kind of strange, and a template, um, or template, whatever you want to call it. On the box or package, it said this was, it said parallel arm with hold open feature, so I assumed it meant it was parallel mount only, aka push side only, that's how most hold open closers are, or residential ones, but... It, it weirdly enough came with this, and on the instructions, it had how to put it on regular arm. So I'm not sure if that's just saying this is how it would look. It would be parallel to each other, or it was a mistake on the box. Um, so this has hold open. Right now it's on parallel. I think I'll keep it on parallel because I like one closer parallel and one regular. So anyway, um, I, I am going to try to put this on my dad's storage room door just to see how it'll look. It's not going to stay there. I just wanted to see how well it would look and how it works. This said on the box, light duty size 1, but it actually is pretty hard to open, or at least when you do it manually. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the inside. It's hard to get this cover off. Get it. Hold on. Kind of tough. There we go. And the inside looks like a mini Norton. And this is exactly what the Ryobi one looked like on the listing. It showed the inside as well, or when it showed all the parts, this is exactly what it looked like. Except this label said, no user parts to disassemble, or dangerous to disassemble. Which basically means, like, the arm, if you take it off, it's fine. If you take the cover off, it's fine, I I'm assuming. But all this says is just how to adjust the closer. Which you could pause if you want to read it. So, this is one valve right there. So, one turn adjust all, which is kind of strange. I'm not sure why, but... You know, that has two valves. This is actually, I think, this closer I think is, I think heavy duty, but I'm not really sure. Because um, most closers like this for residential, light duty is one valve, hold open. I'm not sure if they make a medium duty, but I do know heavy duty has two valves. So, anyway. Um, so, this closer is pretty cool. Really small, like I was saying. Let's click, click that on there. Really, really small. Um, it's crazy. So, and I don't think I will be using the template. This is apparently to make it easier to install, I'm assuming. But I don't want to because at my school, um, there's these two hollow wooden doors. And um, they have two Ryobi Dorman um, residential closers. And they use the template. But it looks so ugly. Like, this is what it, you would see. I don't like that. I mean, that's just for beginners, I'm assuming. I'm not going to use it. But here it is. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and quickly mount it on my dad's storage room door just to demonstrate it. And then, I guess, that will be it. Alrighty. Here's the Ultra Closer. Once again, this isn't a permanent spot for those that think it maybe it is. It isn't. I just want to test it out on the door that I can easily drill a hole in. So, here it is. It is really, really small compared to the door. Um, so, yeah. So, um, I literally just now put it up, like, there's my drill, there's my other screwdriver, here's a bunch of screws I've got, so let's go ahead and test it out, so I don't know what the speed's gonna be like, hopefully it'll be good. It's actually a perfect speed, ow, I just stepped on something, um, oh, it's this little thing, but yeah, that's a great speed for that closer, um, so as you know, this closer is pretty small, and there's ultra there so yeah let's do that again it's a great speed the sweep might be fast but the latch is definitely good as you know this is a one adjustment closer see so I can't have that option so I think that's good let's do the hold open all the way open as you can see it stays open right there as you can see, completely opened right there, which is awesome. 
So, so the instruction manual said when it's open like this, you can just do that. And it should close. It's not. It might not, cause that and the door stop. So I guess on a regular door, when you do this, it would close by itself. But um, so, and then there's the other option, just simply tug on the door and it closes. So it's doing outward. That see, that's the part I hate about these type of door closers. When you open it like that, it will just stay open. So let's do it like this. Perfect. Not too loud, not too slow, but it's a great closer. And there's that problem again. So, but if I if if this is a permanent spot, it would be good because sometimes my dad is constantly getting some of this stuff out, and instead of that um, old rights one, it would just constantly slam in his face, and the washer's a pain. This is simply just open it, and it'll stay open until he wants to close it. Um, I wish it was like. Hold up it was a little bit more because sometimes if he just opens it it might stay open but still I, I like these closers I think these closers are good for some doors that you want to stay open I actually have some doors in my kitchen that are like this um, above the exit sign or underneath the exit sign of my kitchen those doors we keep them open but sometimes we want to close and to close by themselves I wanted to put a closer but my mom's like well I don't want holes and plus I don't want to have a door stop all the time but this is a good closer for that application because simply if you want it to stay open for a while, just open it all the way. And then if you want it closed, just give it a little tug like that. And it'll close. And if someone opens it again like that, it'll close again. So, yeah. Sorry if this video is a little long, but you know. So, anyway. So yeah, that is my new door closer. Once again, this is not a permanent spot. I'll make a separate update where its permanent spot is. So and thanks for watching. Also, I just noticed you can't do preload on this. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.